The various meanings of dang constantly changing throughout the song make it hard for foreigners or average people to understand, but at the same time makes it genius for a rap lyric. R.I.P. foreigners. <laughs> Good day. My name is Comedian and... I'm gonna stop talking like that. Um, yes, yeah, so my name is Comedian and today is a, a thrilling day because uh, several days later, I'm bringing you part two of a reaction to a single song. Uh, what an exciting time we live in, can't we all agree? Wow, this is thrilling stuff. So basically about 0.1 seconds after I posted my initial reaction to Dang or Dang or however it's pronounced, I basically got about a billion comments all yelling at me telling me that uh, I was a foolish non-Korean speaking person who should react to a explanation of the song by a Korean person, which all makes perfect sense because, it, you know, when I was actually reacting to it, um, I think I probably uh, understood about 2% of it. So now, finally, the fretting conclusion to this tale is, is landed because I'm about to find out what on earth I was talking about, which will make sense soon, I'm sure. So, like I said, basically a billion people uh, told me that I have to, I basically have to do this reaction. I felt that if I didn't do it, I would, someone probably would find where I live and set fire to my house. So in the interests of uh, my safety and the, the safety of uh, the couch pillow, which is my only friend, uh, I'm, I'm doing it right now, okay? So just, just chill out. Just take it easy, okay? Put down the flaming torches. So, you know, as it was a billion people, I can't thank all of you. Well, I, I can thank all of you. I can't name all of you, I should say. Uh, but I want to thank a few of you because hopefully it, it makes you happy. Um, so, yes, thank you to AnnieRack93, Moshe Bradford, KB Witter, and Ku Nilsson. And obviously, thanks to everyone who has ever wasted their time commenting on my channel. You guys are really just angels. Um, anyway, now that's out of the way, um, let's do the reaction. Oh, but quickly, uh, subscribe, notification bell, like, uh, please care about me, etc., etc. YouTuber stuff, blah, blah, blah. Let's do the reaction. Oh, and I almost forgot, obviously, a shout out to DKDKTV. I've never seen uh, any of their videos before. I'm assuming a massive Donkey Kong fan, but I've just heard really good things. So hopefully I'm about to have my mind blown with an extra level of knowledge, basically, which is always good. So thank you for that. Link to the comments. Link to the original video in the description below, hopefully, if I don't forget. Good stuff. Let's do it. Oof. Pick the right video. Okay, I know you wanted this. Oh my goodness. This is very professional. He's making me look bad of his white background. RM, J-Hope, and Suga dropped a hip-hop track recently on their SoundCloud called Dang. It's a song that has oriental and trap beat at the same time, and it's also a diss track sending messages to their haters. I got that bit. I got that bit. It's just amazing. For example, the title Dang itself is used in multiple ways throughout the whole song. Yeah, that makes sense, because I thought to myself, that hasn't been translated, so there must be a reason why it wasn't. Some part. These are all card combinations that come from a Korean card game called Sota or Hwatu. Look at those cute little cards! Oh my goodness. I think this scene is supposed to be like, you know, gangsters gambling or whatever. If it isn't, then oops. But it looks like that. And the idea of gangsters gambling with cute little cards with like little flowers on them is just precious. For example, Sam and Par, which is called Sam Par Kwang Deng, is the ultimate pair that nothing can be. Thus, the first meaning of Deng here would be translated into something like better or invincible. Dang, you wrong, me right. For these two lines, Deng is used as the meaning of wrong, which originates from the imitation of a xylophone sound used in quiz shows or auditions when the participant is wrong or bad. <laughs> Deng. So it's like an onomatopoeia, I think. It's used as a sound of a bell. And it also comes from a children's song Ding. called Ding. Deng Deng Deng. Regarding Jay mentioning homework in the next verse, there's a very high possibility that this line implies the meaning of go to school kids. See, I should I should trust my instincts more because when I listened to the original song, I thought, well, they're talking about school 
It's probably an insult as in like, you know, like on two different levels. Like if you're a hater, obviously go back to school, but also like how, you know, school is kind of like seen as being a very some like rigid system. I mean, like we all have our like emo phase and we're like, ah, screw school. School is just holding us down. It's a very like school is it's like a symbol of every of everything that's like anti-creativity and just formulaic and kind of like, you know, putting stuff in neat boxes. So it's almost like, you know, you belong in school, whereas we're out here doing our own thing. That's how I saw it. But I felt too scared to say it. Bang, but can you bang, 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 bang. The first lines of J-Hope's verse describe the criticism they received in the early ages about their hip hop or rap style. However, in the next lines, he explains that now they've become a worldwide bang from a dang. And some of you guys broke this down in my comments even, even more detailed than this guy. Like saying how they basically got hate because they were seen as idols and not real rappers. And then they released a song like this being like, boom, no, we're real rappers. The first thing indicate the meat, <laughs> no, but when he says, we've got good buddy, chotong done, he suddenly jumps into the card game again. Good buddy is an everyday slang word for power slash influence. When you see a very successful person, you would say something like, wow, good buddy, chugine, or good buddy, daline. This everyday slang word's origin comes from the card game's hotta again. Good is a combination of cards equivalent to one point to nine points. It's the most common pairs you will receive during a game. This is like, this is, this is what terrifies me, honestly. There is so much information here. And like, when you find out that a single line of a rap that has, you know, at least two or three lines in, a single line of rap basically has about 50 meanings to it. It's just like, like, you know, I'm, I'm sweating. Somebody fan me. There's no one. Which means I'm a thing and I don't care about you lower class goods. <laughs> so one more thing before we go into our Savage. Good has the same sound as good. Yeah, and this good means the end. Suga ends his verse by saying, good. It could be a double translation as continue worrying about us, low pointers, losers, and continue worrying about us, the end. I'm out, mic drop. I feel like, I feel like the way that like the Korean language is structured, and I, I think this is true of quite a few East Asian languages, which, you know, I'm in very risky territory here because I basically don't know what I'm talking about. But just from, I guess, information I've gleaned over the years, if I was to take that limitless pill, I'd be like, this is correct. But I feel like because, you know, the, I think the way the language works is basically, you know, slight modifications, slight changes in sound and, in, and inflection stuff change the meaning entirely. It means like rap like this, it must, it just must, in my mind, it must operate on a level that's just different to like English rap. You know, there's English rap out there, there's poetry, you know, like Kendrick Lamar right now is basically just releasing poetry regularly. But, but the level of wordplay you can achieve with a language where slight changes in sounds can derive enormous changes in meaning and usually like you know, many different forms of that. Because think about it, like, you know, in English, you have words that, um, I've forgotten the name for it, but words that, uh, words that sound phonetically similar that aren't the same. And there's a word that says that in one word, which is much neater, but I've forgotten it because it's me. It's in there somewhere. Um, these words... Now, I feel like in English, when you have these words, there's usually like maybe like two or three words max that sound like each other in the same segment of language. You know what I mean? Like usually like when you can make a pun, you can make it once or twice because that's the only kind of words you have to line up with it. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that in a language like Korean, you basically have, I mean, that's, it seems like that's kind of the point of this video is breaking down the fact that you can use one word like 10 different ways, which is mind blowing. If true. And if not true, my goodness, what an embarrassing segment that just was. Woo! Now, personally, Arm's part is the apex of this whole song. It's because in one single verse, he uses seven different usages of dang. The first line, Kesha. That's what I was saying. Dang. That's what I was saying. The sound of the casher opening. Which could also Ding. imply yep. that he has a lot of money now. I knew it. I knew it. In the video I watched, they described it as cashier calculator sound, which is a bit archaic, but I, it got the mini cross to me, you know? I'm rich, fish, that one of those kind of things. Swagalicious show off thing. Autumn thing is a Korean version of tag. It's when kids run away, they shout autumn, which is freeze, to get immune from the catcher, and then another survivor can come along and tag the frozen person saying dang, which unleashes him from the frozen state. And third, nan ting dong, nan dang, means I'm correct and you're wrong. And fourth, nan chil kut, nan dang, is again referenced from the card game. Uh, okay. You might be a seven pointer, but I'm above that tier. <laughs> what? Dang, comes from the expression dang dang puotta. It's a fun way to describe your face is swollen after you've eaten ramen last night. Okay, is that a metaphor I'm not getting? Is that like a, a fighting or like a sexual metaphor? Face swollen from eating ramen? 
Do you get ramen hangovers? I've had ramen before. I don't know if it counts as being, like, good ramen. I've been to some, like, you know, decent Western ramen restaurants. I don't know if I woke up with a swollen face, like... <sighs> I'm never eating ramen again, man. Never again after last night. My goodness. I just... I can't keep doing this. Your thing? Darba nani air thing. RM is now playing with language now. The pronunciation of- Was he not playing with language before? Thing, which is the slang of thing in English. RM finally uses another similar sound, teng, to make it rhyme with deng. Or tengi opta is a slang for oiga opta, which means dumbfounded. <laughs> Constructing a whole verse and ending it with deng at every line, it sounds a bit like what Flatbush Zombies uh, and Tech 9 did with the song Monica, but a lot more sophisticated. Wordplay and rhythmical onomatopoeia. The repetitive dang sound makes the song much more rhythmical and addictive. I it agree. Various meanings I agree. And constantly changing throughout the song make it hard for foreigners or average people to understand, but at the same time makes it genius for a rap lyric. R.I.P. Foreigners. Alright, this one needs some explaining. You got some explaining to do. This line shows BTS's attitude or mentality of being a celebrity in a nutshell. It's not about being special or enjoying the spot. I got this one. Got this one. And returning the love they received by feeling proud. <laughs> proud dad of myself. I gave birth to myself. That's not how fathers work. What am I talking about? A Korean saying called Umuran Keguri, which means a frog is stuck in a well and he thinks that well is his whole world. Ooh, I've heard that one before. Keguri usually just means frog, but in this case, I think there's a hidden double meaning inside it, saying ke kuri da, which is a slang for fucking lame or foul. Does that came from the uh, colloquial Korean phrase? You are froggin' lame. You're so froggin' lame. You are totally whack. <laughs> I'm on a roll. The haters in Korea who think they're the best with their own lame songs in this small country. He's saying they should die in this small well called Korea without even having the opportunity- Don't call your own country a, a, a small well. I'm sure it's lovely. Last but not least, as a director's commentary, I would like to point out the fact that despite this song being a diss track, there is actually no real hate or toxic cursing in- See- this, this is what I noticed. I found it very impressive. It completely dismantles haters, it completely makes them look bad without being mean, which is the most effective way possible because if you turn, if you take someone's hate and turn it around and hate them back, then you've just become the thing you feared most. <laughs> you know, it's so much more genius to turn around somebody's hate and show them how ridiculous it is without ever stooping to their level. Once you stoop to someone's level, you lose, especially if you're in a burning building. This chooses to play around playfully with the word dang in a teasing manner and swaggering about their current success. For me, this is the point that sets apart this song from all other diss tracks. Yep. Low negativity, but comic and satirical high self-esteem. Totally agree. Totally agree. I guess I'll just make sure there isn't some bonus Easter egg after the... Props not. No, oh, there's a 20 second outro. That's how YouTube works. I remember. I'm a YouTuber, apparently. Okay, so uh, yeah, a huge thank you to uh, well, to you guys for recommending this video and to DKDKTV for that excellent explanation. That was really, like, honestly, straight away I was impressed by the, the production quality and it really had the feel of like one of those genius videos you've ever seen, like those genius.com explanation videos. I mean, it was just like really concise um, and it, it felt good, you know, that actually like surprised me how much meaning I took away from that song, despite the, obviously the complete, like, you know, the, the, the cultural things I'm missing, the language things I'm missing, all the wordplay. It's so well constructed that you can still take a lot of meaning away from it, which is a sign of a very good and well-written song as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I, I watched that because it really does feel like it filled in the gaps, you know? If I'm some like weird historian uh, and there was a cave painting and I was taking a rubbing of it for some reason that I'm already doubting myself for, it's like, you know, I just did the middle bit and it was like, a, you know, a smiley face, but then this guy came in and painted around the rest and it turns out Mona Lisa, that wasn't a cave painting, but you know what I mean? No, you don't. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, like I said, a big thank you for recommending that. Uh, really great. I think what I'll do in the future is, is if I do do a BTS song and there is a DKDKTV DK reaction 
uh, explanation for it. I'll leave a try and see if I can get them both in one video, because the way I record reaction videos, it does, it is quite time consuming. You know, I, I put a lot of time into the editing and stuff. Um, so I don't know if it's practical to do both in one video, but I'll look into it. But otherwise, I'll just do it this way. I'll just release, you know, part one and part two, which is exciting. Isn't the 21st century great? Part one and part two of a reaction video. Oh, well, hey. But anyway, thanks so much for all you guys watching. You know the drill. Blah, 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 subscribe, blah, 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 like, blah, 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 notification bell, comment, blah, blah. You know the drill, uh, that stuff. Really, thank you so much for checking my content out. Uh, all you guys who comment, you always make my day. Thank you so much. Really, I just hope wherever you are, you're, you're staying safe during these crazy, mad times we live in. You know, keeping your chin up and just, yeah, just, just living your bestest life. That kind of wholesome stuff. And remember, if you're a fan of my reaction to DKDKTV, then subscribe to come on this YouTube journey with me.